Is a criminal contractor who built dozens of victims out of their hard-earned money. Now he's headed to prison, giving some closure to the families that he targeted in the Spring and Tomball areas. Only Channel 2 was there in the courtroom today when Benjamin Wood pleaded guilty to the charges against him. We've been tracking him since last summer when I reported on his arrest. And now Wood is fessing up to his shady practices. Channel 2's Joel Eisenbaum live downtown with what happens next. Joel? Dominique, really what happens next is that this guy, Benjamin Wood, spends a number of years behind bars while his former clients and his former partners get virtually nothing in terms of payback except perhaps some small measure of justice. Mr. Wood is very remorseful. In court today to plead guilty to felony theft, a contractor, if you can call him that. These were all lies. These were all lies that he was feeding everybody, apparently. More accurately, 36-year-old Benjamin Andrew Wood is a thief. Even his own lawyer, who helped arrange the 10 years behind bars plea deal, knows that. He did uh, some things that he definitely should not have done. We have a total of 26 victims and about $180,000 of stolen uh, money and goods and services from individuals. And I'm glad that he is behind bars. At Loomcraft, a family-owned flooring company, Christine Van Loo, is one of more than two dozen victims in Harris and Montgomery counties who got suckered by wood. Bad checks and phony sob stories were the name of his game. He finally told me that he had been in the hospital because they discovered a tumor on his brain. The Loomcraft lost five grand in flooring. So many small businesses took it on the chin. Pretty detrimental to us because we're a small company. But Monday, finally, they got wood. Ten years, though, I think is a good, you know, a good uh, time, but he could have gotten longer for everybody that he affected. Wood was part of that shifty group of contractors who worked in our area post Hurricane Harvey. He just got the same 10 year sentence in Montgomery County. He'll serve those years concurrently. He is in custody tonight. We're live downtown. I'm Joel Eisenbaum, KPRC Channel 2 News. Thank you.